flight visibility. We've recently received a lot of questions about this term, specifically how is it defined, and perhaps more importantly, how should or may a pilot apply this information? While it is a topic which we touched upon briefly in a previous video, perhaps it deserves a bit more examination, explanation. And not for a day like this. On a day such as this, we can all agree the visibility is fantastic. It doesn't matter if you consider that to be 20 miles, 30 miles, it doesn't matter, it's, it's fantastic. It's days such as this, which are a bit more difficult. We still need to be able to determine flight visibility. So the first question is, how is it defined? What is the definition of flight visibility? Well, strictly speaking, it is the average horizontal distance as we look forward from the cockpit. So average forward horizontal distance from the cockpit of an aircraft in flight at which a prominent unlit object may be seen and identified. Not just seen, but identified. That's a higher standard. Or at night, the object, the lighted object must be seen. So what are the key points here? Number one, it's forward visibility, forward. What you may see to your left or what you may see to your right has no applicability to determining flight visibility. It is the forward visibility. And actually, it's the average of your forward visibility. So if you can see over here a little better than here or maybe here, you have to use the average to determine what your flight visibility is. And it's horizontal. It's not vertical. It's horizontal. And you must be able to not only see the object, but you must be able to identify the prominent object. So let's look at an example. In this example, we have a building at approximately five miles distant, which is prominent. The building is prominent. It is visible. And I can determine it's a building. I can um, identify it as a building. So it qualifies. We also have a dredge here, a, a dredge in the inlet. That's clearly visible, or it's visible certainly, and it's identifiable. And finally, we have a stone quarry or a rock quarry here, which is about two and a half miles distant. Again, it is visible and it is identifiable. So if we apply the standard, which is set forth in the definition, it's the average of our horizontal distance. The average of these three is approximately three miles. So in flying the aircraft, I would report the visibility in this condition to be three miles. My flight visibility in this condition, I believe is three miles. Mm -hmm.